Yeah, just a nice contrail, the way it goes. Hey, that's not really why I turned the camera on. I actually did this before, but um, must have pressed the button twice or not quite once or whatever. Yeah. Happy National Atheist Day and uh, April Fool's Day, too. Have a great one. Got nothing. <clears throat> No, that's too full of other business. Um, <clears throat> gee, it's just a good thing that they've got the world in martial law now that all the uh, Fukushima contamination is starting to show up, eh? <sighs> As people can no longer deny it. You know, Chernobyl was a lot less than the it was different, way different. It was in a uh, graphite core, so you get a whole different thing. And they tried to deal with it, and it was a lot less. <clears throat> Didn't have all that mocks either. Hey, um, yeah, what do you think? What do you think's gonna happen? Is you know the odd, and I'm not saying all the victims, but just the odd one starts realizing, oh, you fuckers, you killed me. You fucking wiped my family out. You wiped my gene line out. You know, starting where it'll show up most. What are some of them, how are they, some of them samurais going to deal with that? <sighs> but all around the world. I guess that was built into the Agenda 21 plans, is that would be the point where they, uh, They can't spark a spark a fake war, or another fake war like like the whole Kuwaiti invasion, Iraq invasion that followed afterwards. The whole thing being a setup from the word go, and like vultures waiting for a cow to die rather than throw it where there's water to drink. <sighs> yeah, what's gonna happen as all them people realize? When they can't ignore it, you know, because they're got cancer. Beyond just thyroid, and you remember all the road rage and shit that started, and then they started passing out the Paxol and the Zoloft, the SSRIs, serotonin reuptake inhibitors. Yeah. That's, um, Pretty well, the signs are already there. I think you're going to see a lot of the Fukushima victims in Japan just um, cracking up when they get keep getting hit with this blatant fucking plausible denial bullshit. Oh, we'll just tie it up and wait for most of you to all die and the few remaining to just be grateful to get any help they can. And and uh, we'll make lots of money off of it. Now that's how corporations go. They're beasts. But the important thing is that but we've recognized this reality. And, um... I guess, uh... Show the obvious victims that there is, you know... There is recourse. This isn't, you know, they're not gonna go extinct in vain. I think that's about the only way. Maybe that, like, the notion of karma and whatnot. Well, there you go. You can... <clears throat> Fashion yourself some so good karma by ensuring your own survival if you're lucky enough. To be the ones that uh, manage to escape over the next couple kind of hundred years from what's already come out of this Fukushima and been spread. Not the stuff they're still re spreading intentionally, but. Just as the world, uh, as as the uh, nuclear bomb testing was starting to go down, and Chernobyl had kind of hit a peak. Not not locally, but that keeps going up as it spreads and spreads and spreads. But globally, it had kind of almost hit its peak, and oh, there we go.
not all the sheep are just going to lay down and die. Especially when you treat them with such disrespect. They keep playing this. Nope, what problem? We see no problem. There's no problem in you dying and in your genetic line going extinct. No problem whatsoever. That's just... You're clearly, intentionally... You're either so deluged with your own cognitive dissidence over the reality of this mass extinction that you're, you've brought on and in char and one way or another and and are supposed to be administering and dealing with and you just want to go what elephant in the room what elephant I don't see no elephant yeah these are times of perplexity No doubt about that. <sighs> well, hey. <laughs>